In this video, we learn about the rank related functions in Tableau. Rank as the name says is used to give the rank to different sales, profit or any number related measures. Let us see how do we work on the rank functions. So first of all, I'm in the rank functions workbook and uh, I'm not connected to any data right now. So what I've done is I've written some data in some Excel file that data I'll pick up and paste into my Tableau itself. So if you observe here, this is my Excel file. The name of the file is data in bracket rank dot Excel file. You can download this workbook below this video option. Now what I've done is I've written some stores A, B, C, D, E, F and all these options and the sales corresponding to those stores. For A there is 10, B there is 20. If you observe carefully the numbers are in the incremented you know addition of 10. But here on the left hand side I've written capital A and B whereas the other stores are in the small case letter. Purposely I've written those. What I'll do is I'll copy this data from here like this. Select this option from here that is copy and I'll go and paste into my tablet itself. I'll come to this place and from here I can just press control V, control V for paste and the data would get pasted here because the data which I copied was stored into the clipboard. So clipboard will be available here and I can paste the data. Same data I can see it here itself. Now what I want is I want to give the ranking based on the numbers, based on the sales which are done at this place. How do I give that? So for that what I have to do is I have to create a new calculated field, click on this sales click on this drop down create calculated field now i'll show you where are the uh, rank functions which are given here so if you click on this drop down these are different functions which are available they have been categorized into different areas so if you select this option as table calculations and if you see there are rank related many functions are given here i'll show just few of them how to work on that so now i'll first create a function for the rank i'll give the name as it is as the function name so i'll not change it what do I want rank of? I want rank of rank press tab, sum press tab and I'll press sales, press tab key from a keyboard and rank of sum of sales and I'll click on apply ok. So rank a separate field or measure is created and if you see that's a calculated field. Pick up this rank and you can just drop it here itself. After you drop if you see ranks are given based on the sales. The highest sales the highest number you'll get it so you see one two three and directly it is giving me five first of all i'll just change the format of this it is in the decimal format so i'll just change the format how do i change the format click on this drop down click on this format select this drop down select this number standard click outside and then if you see you are not able to read it completely what exactly is written here in the rank part so what i'll do is i'll just select this part here Okay, you have to click on this heading part here first of all and then you can select the option as alignment click on this on wrap itself on so what I have to do is I have to increase the height of this so you should be able to see that yeah so that is rank along table that is the down rank along table but here I have chosen as rank what it says it is giving a rank based on the numbers 1 2 3 and it is skipping the number as 4 so usually when you have the products you cannot skip any rank itself why they are giving us th 3 and 3 because both the values have nothing but as 20 so therefore they have a tie up and they are giving the same rank to both of them so what i can conclude from rank when there are same common numbers same rank is given when uh, after giving the same rank it will skip the other number and go for the next one so it has skipped the next immediate next number that is 4 and it went to the 5 this is not what we want we want something where all the ranks should be given here so what I can do is I can create one more field so I'll first close this click on this drop down click on this place click on create calculated field we'll create some other calculated field named as rank dense so I'll type as rank dense you see the rank dense press tab key press sum tab key and then type as sales tab key and you can just click on this apply ok what I've done is for rank dense pick up and drop into this area now now what it says is rank dense along down the table but 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 again it's in the decimal format if you want to change from decimal format select this drop down click on this format click on this drop down select this number standard and click outside now let's see what it says rank dense along the table down it says one two first rank second rank third rank because both are 20 and as soon as they both get the same rank next it will go to the fourth rank itself if you see now this is what we are looking for when the numbers are same give the same rank and then you can go for the next one 
there are some more advanced uh, or you can say as the rank functions which are available let's see one more named as rank modify so i'll just click on this close sign okay usually you use this rank dense we don't use this rank along the table but some places where you want you can use this rank along the table rank dense will be used everywhere click on this drop down select this create calculated field and here i'll type as rank modify type as rank modify select as sum of sales tab and you can just apply ok rank modify it pick up and drop it here itself now again first of all i have to change the format here select this rank modify from here click on this drop down format number click outside so now if you observe what is given here it says now when there is a tie up rank modified along the table first rank second rank third rank is missing directly it is giving the fourth rank so fourth rank for both the numbers because they are common and directly it goes to the fifth one so when there is a tie up skip the lowest number go to the highest number itself that was the rank modified it says here so this is the, these are the different functions let's see one more and the last one that is rank unique so rank unique is interesting you can find out that click on this drop down create calculated field and then i can type as rank unique and i'll scroll down rank unique sum of sales and here i'll change rank unique and finally it says there's a error mistake which is given here what it says is you have to make sure if i click on this drop down reference to undefined field sales perhaps you meant sales yes i meant in the sales in the square bracket so i'll remove this again and i'll press tab key and if you observe it is working fine here and i'll just click on apply okay still there's a error which is saying, saying as so there's one bracket which is missing i'll just put a bracket here again click on apply okay we are learning about the rank unique what it says rank unique so first i'll minimize this yeah so rank unique i'll pick up this rank unique and i'll drop down in this place so what it says rank unique unique ranks will be given in the serial order if you see here that is given rank unique is given here so 1 2 3 4 and 5 directly they have given us 5 so i mean all the numbers are given but if you observe here 20 20 and they have given us the third rank and the fourth rank based on what criteria they have given the third and the fourth rank so if you if you see here for this third and fourth rank and if you come on the left hand side b and c based on the ascii values of the alphabet or all all the text they have given the you know see the ranks they have given so rank unique what they gives they gives a unique rank to all the records whatever you have based on first the criteria that is the numbers based on the second criteria that is nothing but your text itself so this is how you can work on the rank part itself so in this video we have seen different rank related functions rank unique rank dense rank and rank modify i hope you have understood that's all for this video